Liquid Q has twice the density of liquid R. At a certain depth, the pressure due to liquid is 4 kPa. At what depth in liquid Q, the pressure due to the liquid is 7 kPa. Wow, 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 wow. What is happening? If you find it hard to brain, draw a picture. So I'm going to draw my two containers. I got liquid P, sorry, liquid Q and liquid R. And the hint lies here, twice the density. So Q is two times of R. Oh, sorry, sorry. Density symbol must use rho. Q is two times of rho R. How to draw? Uh? Now here got liquid. Maybe the other one, we, we put a darker color to show. Uh, oh, no, no, no. This one got darker color. This one is more dense than the other less dense liquid. Let's use a lighter color to just represent that. So if you want to say at a certain depth x in liquid R, pressure is 4 kPa, so maybe some depth. What depth in liquid Q is the pressure? 7 kPa. 7? Ah. Hmm. How to find? Ah? Okay, okay, okay. We stay calm and the first thing we do is, you want to remember what is the equation for density? P equals rho GH, right? So write down the verse, P equals rho GH. Hmm, do you think the height will be the same or not? Probably not, right? But we cannot assume. So we're just going to start off and just, we'll, we'll, we'll just go with it. So at a certain height, who knows what that height is? I have a pressure of 7 kilopascals. I don't know what that is, but never mind, never mind. We write first. So pressure at Q equals to rho GH. And all this is for Q. Why is the H here? Ah? Um... Don't really know. Never mind. We write first. Okay. Pressure at Q. Uh, we need it to be 7 kilopascals. Density. I don't know. I'm just going to write rho Q here first. G. I do know that is a constant. So I'm just going to write as G. Height. Don't know. But I do know I'm going to call it depth. Depth. Huh? Let's just use D. Because it's not later too many height. So D is what we need to find. Okay. We don't have enough information. G, G. Okay, we, we go and try the rho GH for the other equation. So then we go P for R equals to rho GH. All this also for R. So that will be at a pressure 4 kilopascals. Density of R times G. Can I change the darker color? Oh, yeah, never mind. It's okay. Times a height. Okay, what is this height? So we, we got to assume that this height is going to be x because the depth x in liquid R. So the depth where I'm measuring that is x. See, I draw a tiny little x up there. So we're just going to write x. Okay. The last thing we need to do is, I think I have a clue. There's one last information we didn't use and that's the ratio. PQ and 2PR. Hmm. So I can sub in this thing here as 2PR, but wait, uh, let me rearrange for PR first. So PR is going to be 4 times 10 to the 3 over GX. Okay, now I can sub that in. So we're going to take that PR, continue writing here. Rho Q will be 2 times of PR, and that's when we put in that whole fraction in this bracket. So 2 times... So 4 times 10 to, the 10 to the 3 over G, which is a constant, times X. Ah, beautiful. Times G, D. Okay, so this is a reminder that S D of Q equals to 2 times rho of R. Now we can finally do our last step. G and G cancel out now. So all we need to do is find D. So we do have enough information. D should be 7 over 8. And don't forget the x is still there, not cancel out. So 7 8 x is the ratio. So 7, 8 x. Oh, yes. Okay, so that will be B. That was the best choice to find our ratio. So whenever there's pressure-related ratio, you stay calm. Just write your rho GH for either thing and see how you can link both of them. In our case, the ratio of density was the link between both containers of liquids. Okay, so that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.